If you're not familiar with Power Toys, here's a quick description. Power Toys are a set of free system tools developed by Microsoft that can add or change features to maximize productivity and add more customization. It's available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. When I first did a beginner's guide for Power Toys, more than five years ago, when it was first released in 2019, there were only three utilities included. It's changed quite a bit and now has more than 25 tools. Coming up, I'll share with you some of my personal favorites and show you how to use them. Microsoft Power Toys is not built into Windows. To use these awesome tools, you'll need to download it and install it. There's two places where you can get it from. The first place is from the Microsoft Store. For most of you, this will be the best place to get it from. The other place to get it from is from the GitHub website. The link to this page will be in the description. Over here on the right, in Releases, click on Release with the version number. On the Microsoft Store, when you install it, it's per user, meaning that it won't be available for other user profiles on your computer. On GitHub, you have per user choices to install it for both Intel and ARM-based PCs. If you want Power Toys for all users on your computer, you would select one of the machine-wide executables. Prior to using it, I'd recommend checking out the settings. To open the Power Toys settings app, go to search in the taskbar and type Power Toys. Select it. This will open to the dashboard. This is where you can quickly enable the tools that you'll want to try out and use and disable those that you have no interest in using. When you go into general, you can check for updates. Let's scroll down to the section, appearance and behavior. A setting I keep enabled is run at startup. Since I use the various tools throughout the day, I find it's best to have them there for immediate use instead of having to launch power toys each time. Before we get to some of my favorite tools, you can now get quick access to some of the tools by going to the system tray and left clicking on the Power Toys icon. Selecting more here in the upper right lets you quickly enable and disable the various tools without having to open the Power Toys settings app. You just need to click on the toggle you want to enable or disable. This wasn't available until a couple years ago and does save time. The first one to share with you is the color picker. The system-wide color selection tool enables you to pick colors from any application you have running and copy it in a configurable format to your clipboard. As you can see, the keyboard shortcut to activate it is the Windows key plus Shift and C. So I'll do that right now. As I'm hovering my mouse over the screen, it'll show you the color values. When you find a color you like, left-click on it. Doing this opens the color picker editor. It'll show you the various formats. We've got the hex value here, along with RGB and HSL. If you click on the color in the left, you can make adjustments. I'll now click on the copy icon for the hex value, and it says here, copy to clipboard. You should be able to use any image editing program to do this. For example, I'm using the free image editor, GIMP. I'll select the foreground color here on the left. Now in the HTML notation box, I'll paste the hex value that I just copied, and then hit enter. Then click on OK. With the bucket tool selected, click anywhere on the layer to the right. And as you can see, it pasted that color exactly. Back in the color picker settings, there's various settings you can play around with. In addition to the three color formats I showed you in the color editor, there's an additional 11 others that you can enable in the color editor after you click on a color. For productivity, always on top improves multitasking workflow by pinning an application window so it's always in front of the other windows even after you've selected another window. The shortcut to activate always on top is the Windows key plus Control plus T. In this example, I want to keep the calculator in the forefront even when I click on other apps. So with the calculator selected, use the Windows key plus Control plus T shortcut. Now when I go to select another app, the calculator stays in the forefront. Mouse Without Borders is pretty cool. It allows you to use your mouse pointer and keyboard with other computers on the same local network. This can come in handy to give you multiple monitors, for example, when connecting a desktop PC and a laptop. How it works is you click on New Key on your primary computer, enter that same key on the other computers, then click on Connect. Down below, there's other settings you can enable, including being able to share the clipboard between computers. I love this one. 
Image Resizer is great for bulk resizing of images with no need to open an image editing program. Doing this is really easy. They have predefined sizes from small to large and phone, and you can add a new size. Below, in encoding and file, you can make changes if needed. I have found leaving these on the defaults works just fine. Here's how it works. I have File Explorer opened and have four images I want to resize to the exact same size. Hovering your cursor over each image will show you their dimensions. Select all of the images that you want to resize. Right click, select Resize with Image Resizer. This will open a new window. The last time I did this with other images, I did a custom size. Clicking here at the top, you have the choice of the predefined sizes, or you could select custom, which is what I'll do right now. I'm gonna make all of these 150 by 150. Then click on resize. When it's done, those images retain the same file names with custom at the end. Awake is designed to keep your PC from going into sleep mode when doing time-consuming tasks when you're not actively on your computer, like uploading or downloading of files or games without having to change your power settings. For example, in my power settings, I have it set to go to sleep after three hours of no use. All you need to do is to enable Awake in the Power Toys settings. There's four modes you can use. Keep using the selected power plan. Keep awake indefinitely. Keep awake for a time interval. You just need to enter the hours and minutes. And the last one here, keep awake until expiration. This one you need to enter the date and the time of day on that date. With the last three modes, you can choose whether to leave your screen on or off. Peek is a lightning fast way to preview image files in File Explorer using the keyboard shortcut, Control plus the space bar. This makes it a lot quicker than using the Photos app or any other image viewer. To use it, select an image, then use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus the spacebar. To easily cycle through your images, use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. Power Rename, as the name suggests, lets you perform an easy way to rename multiple files all at once. Let's jump into File Explorer and rename those custom files I created earlier in Image Resizer. I don't want custom at the end of the file names, so I'll replace it with the number 150 representing the dimension. Select the files to rename. Right click and select Rename with Power Rename. You'll see the file selected here on the right. After the word logo for each of these, I want to get rid of the space and the word custom in parentheses. So over here in search for, I'll add a space and the word custom in parentheses. You'll see to the right what those files will be renamed to. I want to replace this with the pixel size, which is the number 150. So down here in replace with, I'll add a space and the number 150. And you see it changed here on the right. When you're done with that, click on apply. Back here in File Explorer, you'll see those three files have been renamed. Text Extractor works a lot like the snipping tool, but instead copies out the text that normally can't be copied by using OCR and puts it in your clipboard. This comes in handy for websites or apps where you can't copy text the conventional way. To use it at any time, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Shift plus T. For example, the Power Toys settings app won't normally let me copy the text, so I'll use the shortcut. Select the text I want by left clicking and dragging the mouse around it, and then let go. It's now copied to the clipboard. Once it's copied, you can paste it using the keyboard shortcut, Control V, wherever you want it. In Mouse Utilities, there's a couple things here that might come in handy for you. If you're like me and sometimes have difficulty finding your cursor on the screen with Enable Find My Mouse turned on, hitting the Control key twice will put a spotlight on your cursor location so you can easily find it. You can change some of the settings for it, including the background and spotlight color. Below that is the mouse highlighter. When enabled, it will highlight your cursor when you click your mouse. To activate the mouse highlighter and turn it off, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus Shift plus H. You can change these settings as well. Power Toys Run is quite simply a quick way to launch the programs on your computer and a whole lot more. To activate it, the keyboard shortcut is the Alt key plus Space. 
then start typing. You can use the up and down keys on your keyboard to go through the list. Once selected, just hit enter and it will launch the program you selected. Other stuff that can be done using PowerToys Run is that it can search your folders and files and it can also calculate mathematical equations. And based on that equation, the answer is 887. One of the first utilities released for Power Toys in 2019 is their ultra-useful Windows Key Shortcut Guide. Since I first showed it back then, it's improved quite a bit. To activate it, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows Key plus Shift plus Slash. This will bring up an overlay with the shortcuts that can be used while holding down the Windows Key. For example, to open Windows Settings, that would be the Windows Key plus I. To open the Emoji Panel, the Windows Key plus Period open File Explorer, Windows key plus E, and so on and so forth. You'll notice that the first 10 programs from left to right in the taskbar are numbered. Pressing the Windows key with the associated number will open that program. So if I wanted to open Brave, that would be the Windows key plus six. Pressing that same keyboard shortcut combination also minimizes it. Thanks for watching. Links to download Power Toys is in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your favorite tools in Power Toys? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and smash that bell to not miss out on our latest beginner's guides and other tech-related stuff.